Hey, what's up guys? It's gonna be casting this game between Yu-Gi-Oh! King at 1996 here in the blue at 1456 versus Bentley's My Dog here in the red at 1425. So our player in the blue did go first, he set one. Player in the red's turn, he summoned Thunder King, got the direct attack in. So that face down is most likely like an MST. Like, Thunder King is just too good of a card uh, in this format to really just allow it to survive, so... Um, player in the red was like, you know what, end face space. <laughs> Because uh, this card, he already knows is nothing. Because, uh, you know, Thunder King is a pretty strong card against a lot of decks. Um, so I don't know, maybe the face down. What else could it be? Maybe you can pull. I don't know, but Thunder King is a pretty good card against a lot of matchups. Um, even in this format. I don't think there's been a format in, like, a long time where Thunder King just has been bad. Uh, Thunder King's really been good for a long time. Ooh, it is a wind up rabbit. So definitely that bracket was absolutely nothing. Uh, are we going to see a solemn warning here? Because that wind up rabbit will be coming back every turn to say hi. <laughs> this card is so annoying to get rid of on the field. Like, it never dies. He's asking if the summon is okay. He says okay. Let's see how our wind up pr player approaches. Because it's always interesting to see how wind ups approach. No, you, you can't even. Why are you, at, why are you activating factory? You can't search when Thunder King's on the field. Uh, at least set the factory so, like, he would maybe, like, space this one. You would have, like, your D prison uh, set up. Do not activate face up wind up factory because you cannot search. Uh, uh, watch, he's gonna he's gonna try to search too. Oh, he's so gonna Fiendish Chain. Okay. Why didn't you Fiendish Chain Thunder King a long time ago? Um, Thunder King can still tribute itself and he can just resolve off the field. He can do that, but now he, Thunder King's effect, you know. To make it so you can't uh, search is you know uh, negated now by a Phoenix train. You should have that was a real mistake our player in the blue made. Why did you care about you know keeping Phoenix train hidden? What was the reason? Uh, kind of a misplay. He took almost four thousand damage, thirty eight hundred damage for what? He could have activated Phoenix train uh, turn one. Um, all right. Well, it was turn one of the red players, but yeah, like I mentioned. Um, yeah, let's, let's see how he approaches this, because I'm actually kind of interested to see how he does approach this, because, um, Thunder King can use its effect to still tribute itself. Battle? Oh. Well, <laughs> why'd he wait for battle phase? So he gets the effect of Magician and Factory, which is pretty nasty. But, like I said again, um, taking 4,000 damage is not the best idea. <laughs> uh, especially when, at any time, we can see a Torrential flip, that kind of hurts wind-ups. Um, any of the hand traps hurt as well, but uh, I mean, rabbit f with factory it, it gets pretty annoying. Like basically, within two turns of factory plus rabbit, they got set up to basically game you, um, and they don't really go minus when they you know go for their pushes, uh, especially when they've already added the cards free with factory. So let's see. One, two, three, three. A player in the red is also playing windups now, <laughs> and he's going to end his turn. Um, He's going to change a factory to trigger his own factory. And um, it's a good way to do it. And wind up rabbit can no longer use its effect to uh, hit himself. So that's the downside to it. Uh, well, at least th this one, the one that's in defense position. Because remember, its effect can only be used, uh, what's it? Uh, once while it's faced up on the field, but if it manages itself and it comes back, it just you can use it pretty much infinitely. So yeah, that card is pretty annoying to deal with, um, and it also doesn't special summon itself, it just places itself back onto the field, so you cannot torrential once Widen Up Rabbit brings itself back from its effect. So he's going to activate... He's... What's he doing? He's just activating the effect of Widen Up Rabbit, I guess. And our player in the red also does get to search now. Because it's either player. Uh, just like uh, Gateway. When Gateway is activated, oh man. Um, you know, both players get the effects. Of, well, I'm sorry, the player that controls Gateway gets, you know, the six hammer counters. So we see a Maxi activated. Because Shark does have to reveal himself in the hand. I'm actually kind of curious to see how this plays out. Because, like I mentioned again, taking almost half your life points uh, very early on in the game for almost no reason. Not the best idea, <laughs> in my opinion, especially since Thunder King it destroys that deck really fast. Um, so, what is our plan the blue going to do now? 
Now, he's got some options that you could still make a Shockmaster, and you'd get it negated by Thunder King, but you have to get rid of Thunder King eventually. There's nothing that you can summon in windups that's not, like, special summon that's from, like, the extra deck that can get rid of Thunder King. I know there's what, what is that? Oh, wind up. Is it wind up soldier? I forgot. I, it's been a while since I've seen that card. So with the watcher chat just to see um, what they do. Super robot dimension gun. Gift of green. Maxi versus wind up. It is wind up mirror match though. Um, we'll see Sand again. And Sand plus the rabbit. That would work. And then you could just get it negated, which is fine. I mean, you gotta get over, like I mentioned, you have to get over Thunder King eventually. Uh, so he does get to draw the card. Oh, he's letting the summon go through. Really? Because if you uh, negated, like, the Thunder King, that would have never hit the field, and Maxi would not, you know, get the draw. So I'm actually kind of curious to why he didn't do that. Well, you gotta take the damage first, bro. You know not gonna drop track. Really? Since when do wind up play Tragodia? <laughs> What? <laughs> Since when? It's cool. If I was playing one, I'd put Dragon there, but like, it's because I, I love Trigoda. I think Trigoda is a good card, but um, yeah, that was that was interesting. I did not expect that. Let's put a watch chat. I'll need to type eventually because I don't want to time out. Because like, I think if you don't t type for like 10-15 minutes, um, bugs are getting their windups. So he's gonna go for what? Shockmaster? But Trigoda still like has his attack. Shockmaster in defense mode. What are you gonna call spells? I don't understand why you're going for Shockmaster. <laughs> Trigodi's effect, he's, and he's gonna call spell cards. Uh, I mean, I guess if you're gonna set like, and no, not gonna set anything. What, Yu-Gi-Oh King, I'm sorry, but you did not make the most optimal play. Um, what's the point of going for Shockmaster? You let him draw another card and I think you can still go for factory though, because it's already, it's already been activated, right? Is that, isn't that what it says? Cannot be activated. Oh, a player in the the red has got track magician. Um, pretty good combo. We see Maxi. <laughs> this is getting a, to be pretty trolly. Um, at this point, it doesn't really matter that you just attack. Like, is there a need to really do anything? Why is this one banished? Oh, it comes back during the uh, the standby phase of the uh, player in the blues. So. He's going to uh, get to draw another card. So Maxi is a really good card. But like I mentioned before, he already took um, you know significant amounts of damage. And uh, a player in the red might just go for an OTK. You can go for Shockmaster, call it Traps. Um, and then just straight up OTK. Um, it is definitely possible for him to do. Let's see if he does uh, you know, do it. Because yeah, like, like, like I said, um, since this was already activated, uh, Shockmaster's effect doesn't apply to Wind Up Factory. Because he just searched out a shark. Um, Shark, he's gonna make it level 5. Okay. Let's see how he approaches this. Magician. He gets the other Magician's effect now, and he can go for another Shark, and go for Aegis, Tyrus. Uh, perhaps he'll pop, pop the back row, perhaps... I don't really think it's necessary to make a Shockmaster. I think, like I said, uh, taking that damage... Ooh, a Torrential Tribute. That was nasty. That was nasty. Oh, and a Starlight Road is activated, but since there's too many monsters on the field, you cannot get that Stardust Dragon, sir. <laughs> I really didn't expect to see Tragodia. That's what really threw me off here. And at this point, it's probably a game. Um, unless our player in the blue is also going to be Shark 7. No, no, no. You, you can't make Shark. Okay. I thought he was like, he's like, it's cool. I'll make my Shark level 7. I was like, wait, you can't do that. <laughs> shark only increases itself. At first, I thought Shark could uh, increase other monsters. I was like, oh, this card's pretty good. You just increase anything up or reduce it by 1. That'd be pretty nasty. It's already, you know, too good as is. Um, so you get to draw another card. So you can definitely see why Maxi is so amazing against windups, but um, mostly you can see um, you know, how good Trigodia can be. Um, I just didn't, I didn't expect that Trigodia at all. Trigodia is how much? How many cards? Uh, six, seven. So 4,200. He's gonna make track level four. Why would you make track level four? It's it, it's got enough damage. Why? And he's gonna go for track master too. Why? Is it necessary? Is it necessary at all? <laughs> what? You had more damage on more than what you had already. Oh, uh, no. You could have went for... He's gonna call for spells. Uh. What? And now he's just gonna go for an attack? What? He 
he could have made Adrius, popped this, and then uh, made like any rank four and ran over that uh, Utopia, because, um, you know, two magicians, and then just attacked him directly. <laughs> Wait, I don't actually like cookies, no. The only drink food I'm actually eating is like an Asian top ramen. It's, it's so good. It's just got so much salt in it. It's pretty bad <laughs> for you, but. Um, kind of what would. Was it is it is it blaster not blaster? But um, yeah, I just I don't see this being very effective. Like he definitely, I mean, if he has like a whole bunch of good back row, then I guess he's got game anyways. But like I mentioned, uh, he took too much damage in the beginning, um, and that he our player on the red should win. I hope our player on the blue punishes him for it because he deserves to lose now because you had a Trigodia with forty two hundred attack. You had you could have made Adrius pop a card. And then, you know, made, uh, what's, what's Shark Master, 1600 defense? Uh, you could have made Utopia, you could have made Gemini Pearl. Uh, what else could you have made? What are the rank fours? Roach, you could have made Roach. Roach, Roach even attacks over uh, that um, Shark Master in defense mode. Because the plan in the blue went for Shark Master in defense mode. Um, I see really no reason why. Uh, he's asking if that's good. Um, like I mentioned again, our player in the red should have won. He really should have. Um, oh, what is Blaster playing? Insector. Ah, uh, no, nah, I've, I've got a lot of duels of Insectors. Yeah, I've got tons of Insectors already, and, um, I kind of want to see, like, interesting duels. I mean, this is wind-up mirror match, but... It's still pretty interesting because you can see the misplays, and that's what I like to watch. Um, I mean, Zectors. I mean, you you can misplay in Zectors. I would say. Um, he's going to make Shark three, and he's going to make Levier, and he can bring back his wind up. Oh, Tem Tempo. Yeah, because that can run over Shockmaster. Um, but with three back row, come on, are you, are you feeling really safe? Oh, the card is going to be bottomless. Uh, I think our player in the red probably has a game regardless. Um, why is he... What? You, you can't actually do that. <laughs> There's no more priority anymore, so you just detach Tyrus for no reason. Um, this is not when it's summoned. Compulsing a shock map. Okay. There's four back row. Uh, but like I said before, tires should have the attachment. There's no more priority. Uh, I'll try to help him that. <laughs> I need to play heroic champions. I don't know. <laughs> I make Excalibur a lot in my hero deck. Um, is any, asking anything on the summon of Rat, and he goes, nope. But, uh, yeah, Tyra should have the attachment. Now, or am I wrong? I've been wrong before. Uh, apparently, you can quickly detach for Tem Tempo. It's during either player's turn. Yeah, but it was his turn. I, I know it's during either player's turn, but you can activate it. Huh. I'm confused, but okay. I, I really, to my knowledge, I, at least I thought you couldn't, but I don't know. Sometimes they're wrong in chat, so don't take their word for it. I'll, I'll find out and let you guys know uh, eventually once I hit up one of the Konami people um, and get their words on it. But yeah, I don't see why you could get it. It's not like, if it, if it said when this card is XYZ Summit, oh, we're seeing another card. That card's pretty good. It's a pretty good card. Maybe we see another Starlight Road at that point. Might be game, might not be. Rat Trigger Magician. My Magician was used last turn. Was there a misplay? I was trying to uh, explain to why Tem Tempo, at least from my knowledge, wouldn't get its effect. But if it does, hey, that's cool. Uh, Tem Tempo is even better. 
Oh, so the Crunch Tribute is going to go through. Which is a pretty nasty card. Alright, Yu-Gi-Oh King. You can do it. I believe in you. He's getting a rat back, and then a rat can move in. Rat can switch himself to um, attack mode, and then move back to defense mode to get its effect. Alright, so I'm trying to think. What can our player. Is he not even going to search with factory? I, I mean, both these players kind of exhausted their hands. Oh, I think why not mirror matches is pretty funny, especially with like Maxi's in both players' hands. So I'm going to watch his head again. Where's Foxy? I don't know, is Foxy in here? I think her name starts with an F. I don't know if she like has an exclamation mark in front. What is that? Is that a fake Pink Reaper? Oh, uh, Pink Reaper 1 Apprentice. <laughs> well, apprentice has an E on it, bro. I'm sorry, you didn't spell Apprentice right. I mean, I can't. Homework, Happy Feet. Oh, that's a Happy Feet. I was like, what? The penguins? <laughs> wait, wait, is that Ice Barrier? Did I see someone with the name Ice... Embrace the broom. Oh, I thought I saw that. Close enough to ice barriers, right? Um, what are you going to do, player in the blue? Do something. I was really expecting to see a Zen mains eventually out of one of these players. Because, like, with all that back row, you figure that they go for Zen mains. So, a player in the... Blue is checking his graveyard. I actually don't know what he's going to get. This duel is getting way, way longer than it really needs to be because we're playing the red should have won already. <laughs> I like this guy's <laughs> comment in the, the watcher chat. I once found a butterfly on the ground. It had no wings, so I poured Red Bull on it and boom, it dies. Oh. Uh, Yeah, Pink Reaper will show his face uh, eventually, once um, he comes over next time. I think I already mentioned that in my like, last video, because I think the guy probably spammed, been spamming that. Face down Avarice. Yeah, the card is so good in windups. It's insane. Uh, so you can pretty much reset all your stuff in the deck. I don't think you're playing the red has went for Zenmighty yet. Zenmighty's a pretty like key card in the windups. Both these players have gone through... You know, pretty much half their deck, uh, I would say. But, um... Uh, I still think that our player in the red... Like, how could you not notice that Trag has, like, 4200 attack? That makes it game. And it said, nope, I'm going to go for Shockmaster for whatever reason. <laughs> okay, wind up Rat. Because he didn't normal summon this turn. Uh, the wind up rat he got back was from like a while ago. So we see wind up factory. So boring. Come on, Bentley, you are playing wind ups too. You shouldn't really be complaining. <laughs> this is how wind ups are. They they kind of like go through like you know twenty cards per turn. So our player in the uh, red's activating his wind up factory's effect, and then our player in the blue is also getting a wind up factory's effect. So wind up factory it's pretty trolly in the mirror match. What is he going to make? Is he going to go for a Zen mains finally? I'm just waiting to see a Zen mains made. Okay, so he's going to go for Zen Mighty. And go for Rat. Rat gets back. Rabbit. That's my guess. And he's just going to go for attack. Perhaps. Unless he wants to go, you know, more in. He has seven cards in his hand. Oh, he's going to go for Magician. I'm actually going to... Oh, he's going to go for a Shark. Reveal it. Now he gets Magician's Effect. <laughs> and then we'll see a Torrential Tribute from a player in the red watch. I think a player in the blue used double Torrential. Uh, I think a player in the red only used one so far. But there, there is still two face down. Uh, now he gets the Effect. He's going to make it five. He's, he's like, wait, I'm, I'm trying to think. Just Torrential, bro. It's cool. It's Torrential.
You can do it. You can flip over the Torrential. I mean, that's like the only good card you could possibly use. It's not like Compulsive would be any good right now. <laughs> Just go. I guess you got another TT then. Yeah, Torrential Furby's pretty good. <laughs> torrential Tribute. If not, like, nothing really helps you. Mirror Force, maybe. But a player in the blue will probably make Tyrus. Tyrus would be a good card to make. Alright. He's just checking his graveyard for, what, Reborn? I don't think either player has used Reborn yet. Come on, make your move. Go for Tyrus. Make the sh other Shark level 5. Okay. What are you going to make? Going to go for Tyrus. Go for Tyrus. And then, um... And then go for, uh, Tyrus be 26. Um, no, you can't make a game. I don't think you can, at least. Unless he's got some other combo that I don't know of. He's got 4,100 damage on board right now. But, uh, once he exceeds, we'll see what he makes. I mean, the highest you can get is Gemini Pearl, right? And he can only deal 67 total uh, if he goes for Gemini Pearl. He's going for Utopia. So he will deal, uh, let's see, that's 25, 15, and 26. We got, yeah, 66. But it's not even... Okay, he's going for game now. Watch, he's going to Toronto Tribute now. Toronto Tribute would be, be the best. Actually, Tyrus would still survive, but still. Um. And the safest bet right now would be go and making a Zen Maiden. Maybe, maybe there's a warning in here somewhere. I don't know. But, uh, okay, you're brilliant. I, I, you, you had game already, why didn't you? Please, please, player in the red, have Mirror Force so you can punish the player. Even though you made a mistake that you, what is, oh, he's adding all the counters. Please have Mirror Force, Mirror Force, Mirror Force, Mirror Force. Please. You, you have to activate something now. <laughs> Deprison. Why didn't you deprison Tyrus? You deprison a Utopia for what reason? What was the point of that? But now he's got 18 plus 29 plus 21. He's got 68. It's not game. But why didn't you deprison Tyrus? <coughs> Solemn judgment. Good. I want this game to end. This game is just taking way too long. But I want to know who wins in this because um, I hope a player in blue wins. Kind of. I mean, I want the player that makes the least mistakes. I think I'm playing the red mate. Like, the mistake, like, he had game so easily. That trag was at 4,200, bro. Bentley, I'm sorry. You should have You should have won for game. You had it. You had it. Another D. Oh, okay. Never mind. Because I was like, why didn't he just deprison Tyrus? It's because he had double deprison. Um, I would let that deprison of Utopia go through. Because, like, if you think about it, why wouldn't he go for Tyrus? I thought he was going to have something else. I, I didn't expect double deprison, but I thought one of them was going to be Compulse. Because, uh, if you guys remember, a player in the red was like, wait, I'm thinking. He kind of cheated there, because he had no response. Deprison was not live then. He couldn't have done anything. Kind of cheated. Um, I mean, you could always tell your opponent to wait, technically. He's landing on one. Sometimes people like to roll the dice to, for the MST and hit that one. It's all morning. Pretty good card to hit. But, uh... Player in the red did significantly lose a lot of life early on in the duel. Let's see a magician. Oh, warning. That's it. You got reborn. That's your only chance right now. But he's only got 50 life. So if you can somehow, you know, just make anything, please have reborn. <laughs> For the ultimate trolling factor. Oh, he calls a game right there. But player in the red, you did have game. You just didn't see the most optimal play. But anyways, hope you enjoyed that duel. It was pretty truly duel, and you can definitely see some of the misplays both ball players kind of made there. But, you know, still a, a decent, you know, duel. That 50 life points. Uh, he should actually have, a, uh, what is it, 38 50. He took too much damage in the beginning that he didn't need to take. But still, nonetheless, interesting duel. A lot of the good things to learn about wind up meter match. But thanks for watching. Asian Eyes signing out.